Okay, so here is a uh, quick <coughs> video here. We're going to work with uh, structures, and this is going to be pretty cool, actually. Uh, structures are really handy. Um, if you don't want something as uh, heavy as a class, you can make really simple uh, structures, basically, to pass and hold data, if you will. That's really uh, one of the best ways you can use them. They don't take up nearly as much space because they're not treated as such a large object. So. I'm just going to make a structure here in our uh, in our main uh, class here in our in our application. So uh, I'm going to uh, really quick. We need to include wow our IO stream. There we go. And uh, I always forget. I don't need that anymore. And uh, we need to use our uh, namespace namespace std standard namespace. So there we go. Uh, so I'm going to do, leave that. We're going to put some space here, and we're going to create a struct. And uh, we're going to call it a uh, student. Let's call it a stru student structure, right? So now we have a student structure. And what uh, what things might a student have? Well, they might have a student. They might have a student ID, or maybe we'll just say ID. They might have a uh, a name. Uh, let's see what else we can actually just include string here, and I can get rid of this then. They might have a name. I just included the string header there, so they might have a name. They might have uh, a GPA, for instance. Oop, I cannot declare that. So. Yeah, let's just do that. So we have a structure of a student, and let's uh, now let's uh, create the student, and we're going to say student, and uh, what do we want to name him? Student, and we'll just say a new student, and uh, we want to give him some some uh, some uh, information. So we're going to say new student dot uh let's see we'll say gpa we'll we'll give him a, let's see like a 3.5 or something like that we'll say a new student dot name and we'll give him tim that's a pretty good name and new student uh dot id and this will be our 10th student i always use 10 i don't know why Maybe it's because it's the base of a lot of numbers. So you can see really all I was doing here is I was just accessing the name. And, in, and one thing to note in structures is there are no public or private uh, modifiers for structures unless it's actually held. This whole If this whole entire structure was in a class, yeah, then that could actually be maybe uh, private or public. But in this case, the actual members or fields that are held within the student um, actually are all public and you cannot make these uh, pub or private or protected or public or anything like that they don't have modifiers like that they just are default public so so yeah pretty sweet I mean there's not a whole lot to structures so much that they're just good to hold bits of information of data so now we can actually just I mean we can just print that out you can say a name and uh, we'll say a new student dot name and line here we'll say age or we'll say GPA GPA new student to GPA and we'll say C out and we'll say ID this is probably out of order how you would normally uh, display the information but hey yeah and there we go so that's really all there is to it for structures here so I'm just gonna build and start without debugging and there we go. So uh, as we set the uh, information, his name is Tim. He has a GPA of 3.5, and he is has a unique ID of 10. Uh, so that's really all there is to it. I mean, structures are pretty straightforward. So uh, maybe in the next video, we'll start working with arrays of structures or uh, structures uh, in classes. So that concludes uh, this video.